Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the causes of food insecurity. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Many people in LIC suffer from food insecurity where they do not have access to sufficient, safe, nutritious food to maintain a healthy and active life. These populations tend to be rural, meaning that they do not have access to shops to buy food. So therefore they have to grow what they eat or depend on small village markets buying produce that has been grown locally. Food supply in these areas is often affected by drought and desertification, pests and diseases, conflict and a lack of technology. So let's start off by thinking about how climate can lead to food insecurity. Drought is a really common cause of food insecurity as crops struggle to grow where it's too dry and hot temperatures mean that the evaporation rates are high, causing the land to dry out even more quickly. Drought simply means a long period of below average rainfall, and it leads to crops withering and dying, but it can also affect livestock too, destroying their food supply and making them weak from a lack of drinking water, leading to livestock deaths. Loss of crops and livestock can lead to undernourishment and eventually starvation for people living in the areas affected. Some regions in Africa have suffered from drought for many years, for example the Sahel just south of the Sahara Desert. Long periods of drought can lead to the process of desertification, whereby previously fertile land turns into arid desert. In complete contrast, flood events can also lead to food insecurity as crops are washed away and livestock drown. This often happens during tropical storms such as Typhoon Haiyan, which hit the Philippines in 2013 and had a catastrophic impact on food supplies in this region. Climate change is leading to more extremes of weather, for example, more frequent and more intense tropical storms in the regions that already experience them and more heat waves and drought events, meaning that it will be more challenging to grow crops and rear livestock in order to maintain food supplies in the future. Let's move on to pests and diseases. The climate in LICs makes people vulnerable to a variety of pests that can harm crops, such as locusts who often destroy whole harvests. Poverty also means that farmers are unable to use pesticides to protect their crops from this threat. In addition, facilities used to store grain in LICs can be poor, meaning that what has been grown is often eaten by rodents. Cattle in LICs often suffer from diseases such as bovine pleuropneumonia, which attacks the lungs causing fever and respiratory problems. Animals will struggle to recover from this due to a lack of veterinary care, but also having weakened immune systems due to being undernourished. Finally, human diseases such as malaria and AIDS are common in the world's poorest nations, making those suffering much weaker and therefore unable to farm so efficiently. And in areas where there is a high mortality rate from these, the available workforce for farming will be reduced. Our third factor that causes food insecurity is technology. Farmers living in LICs do not have the money to invest in the technology that would make their job easier and more productive. For example, they can't afford drought-resistant seeds or better tools, which is particularly important when most of the farming is done by hand, or chemical fertilisers and pesticides, which have been developed to improve crop yields and therefore food supplies. On a larger scale, there is also a lack of investment into the systems that would make agriculture more efficient, such as transportation, huge warehouses that could safely store produce, large-scale irrigation systems and machinery that would enable farmers to plant and harvest much bigger areas of land, which again would increase their crop yields. This, of course, is directly linked to poverty. Our final factor that can lead to food insecurity is conflict. There are many ways in which conflict can lead to food insecurity. When a country is at war, the main priority becomes fighting, which can mean that those who would normally work the land are recruited as soldiers instead, disrupting food and farming. Wars also lead to huge numbers of people fleeing from their homes to safety, leaving behind their land and heading to fast refugee camps with nothing to eat. This can currently be seen in Yemen, which is experiencing civil war with hundreds of thousands of people living in hunger. Food supplies can also be targeted by soldiers, either seized 
or destroyed with the idea of making the population as weak as possible, along with the deliberate contaminating of wells and water supplies. Farmland is often destroyed to make it much harder for local people to use it productively in the future. In times of conflict, charities and aid workers will try to help those most in need by providing emergency supplies of food. However, there are times when aid workers are stopped from reaching those who desperately need help or stopped from travelling into zones of conflict because it becomes too dangerous for them. Long-term aid is also available to help improve food supplies for the future, but government corruption often means that this money doesn't get to the people who actually need it. Over the last few decades, many LICs have experienced civil war, which has led to widespread famine and starvation. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the causes of food insecurity. Thank you for watching.